Hello guys. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make um, a keychain, a heart keychain. So um, what I'm doing is um, I have wire, and I think you've seen this before. I have, um, this is aluminum wire. It's, uh, you can find this at Walmart um, for a, uh, a little bit over a dollar. And uh, first thing I'm going to do with my heart, and um, also before I start that, we're going to need um, foam sheets. We're going to need these. Okay, so, um, but I'm, these are going to be cut in just strips like these. That's all these are. It's just strips. And that's what's on my, that's, you know, what's comforting my, my, uh, my heart. Okay, all we're going to do is just cut strips of foam um, sheets for our um our heart and just cut like thin slices just like this like thin strips and all the way down almost as straight as you can well not almost but you know not perfect but you know straight if you have to uh measure these or put a ruler down and then um Measure the lines, you can do that, and that'll give you a straight edge. Okay, so um, I want to make like a medium heart, so I'm going to bend my wire, and this is so soft, you can you can do this by hand, almost, and um, I'm just going to make, um, I'm just going to take my uh, nose needs pliers, nose needle nose pliers i'm sorry my needle nose pliers my tongue get twists and i'm just gonna make the bottom of my heart just like this you can almost see it's coming out you know to be shaped like a heart and i'm gonna spread it out a little bit and i'm gonna take my fingers and i'm gonna bend this over if you don't want to hurt your hands you can use your pliers that you know that's a lot better but you know with this wire you really can't hurt your hands you know unless you force Force it real, really, 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 really forceful. Okay. And I'm going to bring this back in just like this. I'm going to show you again because, you know, I was running my mouth, so you probably didn't see what I did when I made my heart. Okay, I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to go through with it step by step. I'm just going to cut this off. And that's our first heart. Here we go. Okay, as I said, take your alum aluminum, um, not aluminum, your wire, take your wire. Just be careful with this wire around your face because when you cut the edges, they're really, really, really sharp. Okay, so um, I just, uh, you can do, do, do this by, you don't necessarily need these, but if you want to make your um, bottom a little bit more um, pointier, you can use these just to... Um, bring the wires the wire together okay so I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more and then I'm gonna press against the the, uh, the wire and I'm gonna bring it back in now for my edge on my um not my edge for my um end on my heart I wanted to use that uh, needle nose those needle nose pliers because I wanted my um heart to be a little bit more well the um the middle of my heart to be a little bit more you know like rounder instead of straighter okay so there we go that's it and all we have to do now is uh clip this you can you can bring this around around the loop here and then bring it back down if you want to and bring this around and make like maybe a little bit more spot stylish heart see that but you you have to cut this so just to get out our end just bring that out a little bit and clip there we go and press these together so they can stay a little bit more better okay 
there we go that's all right okay now so I have black orange and purple but I think I'm gonna use um, black and purple and I'm gonna go around my um my wires this is um it's also a peeled stick uh, foam and I'm gonna take this and go around um, you can basically start anywhere but I'm gonna start from right here in the middle of my wire and I'm going to take it and go around and around. Just take the other end and bring it in. Just wrap it around and around. Almost like you're wrap, wrapping uh, someone's uh, hand or something up when they're hurt. Just wrap it around and around. Just like this. See how it's coming out? That's what we want. That's what our heart should, uh, our foam should look like on, on our heart. That was pretty easy and pretty quick, don't you think? Okay, I'm just going to keep bringing this around. Excuse me, guys. Keep bringing this around. Sometimes phones can be annoying. Okay, I can take that off. I just didn't want to take that off right then because I didn't want my um my hands to um unstick the uh the phone. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go all the way down because I, th I think that looks the end of our um, heart looks sort of like you know elegant or something. So I'm gonna get um, what did it say? Purple, purple and black. Yeah, I'm gonna try purple and black. I think that's really really pretty. I could go all the way black. You can, you can if you want to, but um, me, I like um, I like two tone uh, colors. So I'm just gonna go with the the half and half, half black and half purple. And I'm gonna keep bringing this around. This is an easy project. You and your kids, or you and your your daughter, can do this. Or either if you want to um, make your um, puppy or kitten a tag, a dog tag or cat tag, you know, with the heart on it, you can do that. This will be perfect and it will be soft against their fur. And this is, uh, this is mainly um, a chicken, cheek, uh, sorry, a keychain. So, well, it can be anything, you know, what, whatever you want it to, to come out to. And you can improve this and make your own, make it out to be your own if you want to. But um, this, you know, when I started out, I wanted to make a keychain. So, and better yet, no one else has one like this. Because I just started to make it, so. Well, in fact, I just came up with it. Okay. Almost done. Okay, and press down real hard. That way your sticky form, you might have to um press, keep pressing on this, or either you can get some glue and glue it together, but um, there we go. There you go, that's our heart. And this is our undone one. Our done one and our undone one. You can like them both ways. Thank you so much for joining me, and you have a blessed day.